Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. I have an Amazon moment for you guys. This stuff I needed, in my opinion. So, <laughs> this was a want. Um, a Child Called It is one of my most favorite books because it's real. It's a real story. And kind of where I'm from, the guy who wrote this, the one who had it happen to him, um, is where I'm from. Okay, so we're gonna go into my bedroom. My girlfriend has a meeting and I don't wanna interrupt her as much as she says, no, it's okay, you could vlog. I'm like, girl, <laughs> no, 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 no. Open the blinds. I love when the blinds are open. What about you guys? Okay, I don't know what you guys can see. Anything inappropriate? I hope not. And no, it is not Halloween, okay? So this memoir, I want Feline to read it because I read this multiple times in foster care. Next thing I got is a kitchen scale because the one I have now I've had forever and I feel like it's glitching. And I'm trying to um, weigh all my food because I'm counting calories following my dietitian's plan. It is just a white, can you guys even see? <laughs> Let me get closer. So it is just this white scale. It comes with an extra battery. Next is these glasses I got. They're so cute. I want that, to use them for like my lemon water and my iced coffee. It comes with four of them. And it also comes with straws. So it's this glass. with a super cute lid. Obviously the straw cleaners. And then this is what the straw looks like. It is a glass straw. Isn't that adorable? Last but not least, I just got this 10 pack of fridge organization. This is really good for uh, fruits and vegetables like after you clean them. I just feel like my fridge gets super messy when I have uh, my fruits and vegetables just scattered about. So. This is perfect. Okay, so before I go clean these, because <laughs> I'm excited to clean them, dry them up, and then use them. Um, I know I was, um, I said I was going to do like weigh-ins and stuff, and this totally could be like a weigh-in <laughs> moment. Because I did weigh myself today, and I've been following um, the plan that my dietitian gave me. And I know my body, and I know that like when I'm doing the right thing... Um, I'll instantly drop weight. That's just the way my body reacts. I've been like that my whole life, my actual whole life. Um, I started my first diet when I was like 10, 11. So, um, I know from firsthand that when I am doing the right thing, the next day I will drop weight and I've gained a pound. Um, that is frustrating to me. Especially because like when I get on track and I'm like doing the right thing, I notice that I pee more. I know this is like TMI and this is a lot to do with like I hold a lot of water. I hold a lot of fluid like I have lymphedema. I have lip edema. Plus I'm just a very large body and when I hold a lot of water, my body releases it when I get back on track. Um, and I gained. It's frustrating to me because it's like... At least if I would have like stayed the same, that would have been fine. But the fact that like I gained is just like over the top weird and it does add frustrations to me. Um, I, I hate it. I low key hate it. It makes me want to go back to like restricting more. Ugh. And it's like, I just need to trust the process. But if I notice in like a week that things aren't moving on the scale or they're going the wrong way I'm definitely gonna have to talk to my dietitian because then what do I do I'm vlogging who do you think I'm talking to the ceiling I love you just finding frustrations um it has nothing to do with the weight loss clinic it has everything to do with me and the way that my body works like when I saw the lip edema specialist like she was like you're not gonna lose weight the same as everyone else and I'm finding that to be very, very true. And I'm just becoming like really frustrated with my body. 
very frustrated. I've been measuring all my food, weighing all my food, tracking all my food on my fitness pal, um, being very, very good about, you know, the choices and whatever. I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling annoyed and I needed to vent. So anyways, I'm going to go put some water and some lemons in one of these after I wash them. Um, I know some people don't wash their dishes when they buy them new. Ma'am, please wash them. Okay, so I am super caffeine sensitive. Like, it's actually really bad. So I added the smallest bit of coffee. Um, I measured out my creamer. Like I said, counting calories, doing the damn thing. So I have to really work with it every day to see, you know, what's the right amount of coffee for me. Oh, that slaps. I feel like it needs a little bit more coffee though, but I don't want to overdo it. You want some of my Dutch coffee? No. And then here is my lemon water. Feline put mint in hers, so hers is more aesthetic, but is that a seed? Yikes. Lemon water for me, I don't know about anyone else, is super detoxing, so my goal is to have one of these every single morning with my tiny bit of coffee. Let me show you Feline's. <laughs> Hers is so cute. <laughs> like the mint and the lemon. That's like a whole aesthetic. Love that. Thank you, baby. Hello. It is a new day. I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup. Um, I'm about to do my lips. I did have on like pink, but it just did not go with my camo. Um... I'm also going to wear some jewelry today. I don't know. I'm just really trying to like get my mind off of this like tornado outbreak that's fixing to come through. I'm not excited. That's like one of my biggest like anxiety things. And this is going to be massive TMI. I get so nervous when it's like, a horrible storm or like I know there's tornadoes that could happen that I literally poop <laughs> Maybe. I do I literally poop uh it makes my stomach hurt this is like actually a reaction that I would have like now it's not funny anymore because I'm about to be serious but um it's a reaction that I would have when I was younger actually when my parents would be arguing or like whatever the hell they'd be doing as a little girl my stomach would hurt really bad and it would make me poop and then tornadoes give me the same feeling it is so weird so yeah um i'm done with my makeup so this is how you guys normally would see me and my hair would look a mess but and then everyone would be like oh my god her hair's dirty you guys <sighs> no i just don't like to wear it down that much you know, I have no reason. But I think today I'm actually going to wear it down. And I'm going to straighten it. And yeah, because I'm trying to distract myself. Right now it's just like super windy. I don't know. There's just been to tornadoes everywhere lately. It, it worries me for the summer. Because I know summertime is like really bad with that. So ugh, this is another reason why I want to move out of Kentucky. But... I will see you guys when I'm done getting ready for the day. Okay. We are back. My hair is straight. See? <laughs> no, I'm not straight. Not even close. I don't know if you guys heard fully, but she was like, but you're not. But yes, uh, this is what is literally in that messy button nine times out of ten after I straighten it. And you guys think it's like some dirty, like, conspiracy. I promise it's not. I just... I get unmotivated to do my hair and that's literally all it is. Um, that's it. Now I'm just putting in these hoops. I have um, these necklaces. It's like a diamond choker. It's like gold. And then one that says baby girl, which I think is super freaking cute. I will say I'm listening to the H3 podcast, sipping on some lemon water. It's literally been my day. I do have to go do some uh, dishes, which I'm going to be getting this wet and I don't want to get it wet. So I'm probably going to have to change to do the dishes, but 
Today is kind of like a boring day. I really just am like riddled with anxiety and I'm trying to distract myself. And I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. I really love this look. I think you look like a cutie, baby. A cutie looks. I actually really like, I don't know. I'm, I'm vibing. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm vibing. <laughs> what was the other thing that she said? I don't remember. We're talking that. about Tammy Slayton, by the way. Speaking of the Slaytons, Amy reached out to me. Hi, if you're watching. Well, it was something that Tammy said that we just could not stop laughing about. I forgot what it was, but one of them was, I'm vibing. That's and phenomenal. we mean it with like a kind heart. Like, we're uh, the Slayton stands over here. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, you guys, we have a taste test about to go down. So I wanted to try these zero net carb sun-dried tomato situation. It's a tortilla. It's keto certified. So um, I have three of these which is 25 calories per one. And then I'm gonna use some salsa. And then I have a serving of Mexican cheese, which is one fourth of a cup. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it does not smell good. <laughs> no. um, I did put my, no, it's not that. It smells like dog food, like, or like a dog treat. Ugh. You know you may have a it smells so bad. So we're gonna try it. Um, I layered it in threes. <laughs> that looks so cool. Um, I do put my quesadillas in the microwave. Do not come for me. I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna add some salsa to the side, I guess. I thought I had sour cream, but I lost it. So <laughs> how do you lose sour cream? I don't know. Here we go. Let me fold her like a taco. Oh, is it? Mm. Uh. It's one of those things you need to doctor. What'd you put in it? You need the salsa or else it's gonna be disgust. So if you guys plan on having this, drench it in hot sauce and stuff, okay? <laughs> so i'm about halfway through of my quesadilla taco cheese and don't do it it's not worth it because i'm having to like literally drench it in salsa which i ended up putting salsa in the middle as well and i don't know if you have to drench your food in like a condiment then it obviously doesn't taste that good so but who knows you might like it but it literally tastes like a dog treat yeah, dog treat with salsa. That's what I'm having. Yep. I take back everything that I said about this quesadilla. Feline just went ham. This is hers. Baby, what is in this? It's so good. Some chicken seasoned to perfection, of course. A little bit of ranch. Ranch? Like the ranch, ranch seasoning? seasoning? Yeah. Ooh. Cheese. She said I can touch it. That's me that took that little nibble, by the way. <laughs> some pickled jalapenos. Oh my and god. Then some type of tea. This is so good. And she cooked it on the stove. See me? I'm lazy. And I was hungry then. And I didn't want to wait. Um, because I hadn't ate all day. She wakes up before I do. So she's had a few meals here and there. But um, I'll tell you right now, if you make it the way she did it, do not put it in the microwave. Do not listen to my laziness. This it's like a completely different freaking uh, tortilla. I am shook. This is amazing, baby. And thank you for the little nibble. Of course, baby. Here's your food, see. Thank you, babe. All right, so the uh, Keto Quesadilla Chronicles continues because now you need to try a bite. I should have had you try a bite of mine. <clears throat> it was so gross, baby. Okay, try a bite. Look at that cheese pool. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. You like it? Mm -hmm. You did do that. <laughs> <laughs> me being so impatient I had, like you guys I'm telling you I've been awake for obviously a couple hours because I've had time to like get ready shower do my makeup all that straighten hair 
da, da, and I hadn't ate anything. And I was so hungry. I didn't even know you were going to eat until she came, you know, she came behind me. Oh, and she was like, you know what? Good. I'm going to have some. It looked good, but it tastes bad. Yours is phenomenal. See, tomorrow, let me cook it for you. Oh my God, this is a whole saga. Yeah, tomorrow you can make me. I'll have me. one waiting for you after you get out the bathroom. Yeah, I just don't like her cooking for me for like all my meals because she likes to cook. Uh, we do dinner either together or lately she's been doing it a little bit. For a while there, it was me. Like we just switched back and forth, but I don't want her to cook all my meals for me. So I just felt super lazy. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. But tomorrow you might be cooking my lunch for me and my breakfast and my dinner and my snacks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're going to cook my snacks. Homemade snacks. Homemade snacks. Anyways. Um, they're probably like, this is so boring. <laughs> or maybe I'm, I'm a spokesperson for these uh, uh, tortillas. You guys need to go try them. Where did I get them from? It was Kroger or Meyer. Meyer. It was? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was Meyer. I don't know if you guys have that restaurant around you, but I'm... The restaurant... <laughs> Bish, God, I haven't had takeout in a hot minute. So I'm like craving takeout, I think is what it is. I'm over here. Because your freaking thing tastes like an actual, like, quesadilla that you'd find on a menu somewhere. Like, good job, babe. You're welcome. Wait, what? You did good. Oh, I meant to say thank you. I forgot words. <laughs> you forgot words because it's so good. No, but, um, yeah, this is a, I'm a spokesperson for this, and... I'm actually sponsored and this whole, um, this whole thing was just like a show. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not sponsored, but you guys do need to try it and then message me on Instagram. Um, what you guys think, do it my way and then do it Feline's way. And it's like a whole different, see, the thing is, what is with me and quesadilla talk today? <laughs> this vlog is going to be called quesadilla. Um, I love quesadillas in the microwave. I think it's because that's just something super simple I would do when I was younger. You know, you just put your freaking tortilla on the plate, put your cheese, call it a day. I personally love it. I love the texture it creates. It's simple. It's fast. It's whatever. But it, not with that, not with that tortilla. It's just not going to happen. So, um... You want another bite, babe? No, no, no. I'm good, babies. Sure. I'm good, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, so recommend it. Cook it on the stove. Um, why am I still talking about this? <laughs> this is a crucial topic, babe. It's crucial. 100%. This is the importance of the world. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is more important right now. Nothing is more important. Not a single thing that's going on. Nothing. Mm -mm. Nope. nope. Trump's in jail? <laughs> <laughs> who's trump tornadoes are about to freaking blow the roof off this house what's a tornado all i can think about is flying quesadillas flying quesadillas okay yeah all right you guys i'm gonna go see this is what happens when tornadoes make me anxious i'm either crying shaking in the corner like rocking back and forth or i can't stop talking there's no in between People are going to hate this vlog. <laughs> oh, you win some, you lose some, folks. Also, by the way, I don't know if anyone's even made it this far. Who knows? I need to turn on this light. It's getting dark. Um, woo. It's because the sun is being blocked by dark clouds. Love that for me. So, as you guys know, yesterday I was like, kind of like, oh my God, why am I not losing weight? Because I've been doing this plan. I don't know if it was because, like, I prayed to the universe and I put something out there, but um, I stepped on the scale today and it moved. And it moved a lot, like, for an overnight moment, so I'm very happy about that. So I do want to give a little update. I just don't want to give exact numbers um, in my vlogs because I do want to save those for weigh-ins, but we could talk more about it during a weigh-in. Um, so yeah, I just want to say I'm so happy. I could totally take out that clip from yesterday, but I kind of just want to show like where my mind frame was yesterday versus like, wow. Okay. So I was in a little negative headspace and then, you know, after I clicked off the vlog, I tried to be more positive and be like, you know what, I'm just going to follow plan and like do what I have to do and like really just leave it up to the universe and obviously to myself. <laughs> and what was that laugh? Yikes on bikes. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say, like, 
if you feel like your diet plan isn't working, just give it one more day. Like every day, just say one more day because sometimes the scale just takes a minute to move. And sometimes I have to realize that like, bro, you're in your 30s. You are going through menopause. Like you're not the young spring chicken that you used to be. Because I used to be able to lose weight so fast. But it's like your lipedema is worse. Your lymphedema is worse. Like you're older now. You have messed up your metabolism. Like there's so many things that are like fighting against me. That it's like just hold on a little longer. So I'm very happy the scale actually made me smile this morning. So yeah, I had to share that. Whew, when I tell you guys it is hot in my apartment, I'm gonna put my hair up if that's okay. I'm at that stage where I'm like, pony or messy bun? Pony or messy bun? Pony it is. It's hot because we don't have the heat on or the AC because today was in the 80s, but tomorrow's supposed to be in the 60s. What is happening? So I'm like, hot as hell and i just got done cleaning the kitchen and it's not fun sis but i do want to end my vlog with p.o box time and of course um being interviewed by you so let's do p.o box time all right so i'm gonna read this letter okay so the letter was from jillian she's actually the one who got me this sign which i have sitting right here for now because i'm still not sure where i want her she wrote me a sweet sweet letter and she says that she loves seeing the books that i read so she can read them also i know a lot of people feel the same way so i'm definitely going to keep um showing you guys the books i read right now i'm in a little bit of a reading slump so that's unfortunate next i'm going to read this letter oh caitlin sent me this beautiful card and what you wrote in it was so sweet so thank you so so much and she sent me a lottery ticket from Florida. Isn't that so cute? So let's like scratch it right now and see if maybe she made me a millionaire. Who knows? Or maybe I'm already a millionaire and no one knows. <laughs> I'm gonna low key scratch it with these scissors. Can you imagine if I just, you know, one day was like, you know what? I'm done, done with my hair. Never happening. So my lucky numbers were 18 and 24. And unfortunately, I did not win, but that was super cute. So thank you, Caitlin. All right, so I'm going to open this package. <laughs> okay. Is there a note? Probably not because the troll stuff never has notes ever. Oh, there's a note. They told me to F off. Okay. Toddler scavenger hunt cards. And you know what? If you think I'm not going to go outside and play this, See, this is what I'm saying. Like, majority of the people who are like, vlog outside, vlog outside. It's just, it's all trolls. It's like, the people who enjoy my content for what it's worth are the people who I like and who I enjoy to have around here, you know? Um, can you find a bird? Flap your arms like a bird. <laughs> can you find something rough? Yeah, when I look in the mirror. Can you find something soft? Can you find a swing? Swing on it. Oh my God, I have not been on a swing in forever. I know I wouldn't be able to go on one now. Hi, that's like common sense. Dang. I used to swing high too. I was a, I was a high swinger, let me tell you. I was a swinger in my life, my past life when I was younger. A swinger, wow, okay. All right, now it is time to pick my interviewers because I love being interviewed by you. Okay, so here's my question for the video. Um, if you weren't a weight loss channel at the beginning, like, you know how you made your YouTube channel based off weight loss? What if you weren't wanting to lose weight in the beginning? Would you have still made a YouTube channel? Let me know. Please answer my question. I love you. Oh, I love you. You're adorable. Honestly, Originally, that is why I started my YouTube channel was to do weight loss content, um, but it wasn't even two or three videos later where I realized I love vlogging. So I feel like eventually I definitely would have started um, a YouTube channel. It probably wouldn't have been then. It would have probably been a couple of years later, but vlogging has always been just like something I really wanted to do. So thank you so much for the question. Hey, Amber, I hope that you respond to this. 
In your early videos, you said you had ASMR. What did that mean? I'm sorry, I've just been thinking about this a lot. Oh my lot. god. Uh, hope you're having a great day and hope this is under 30 seconds. Thank you. Okay, I love this question because I think this is a really good example of like when people think I'm trolling when I'm not, but then when I am trolling, people think I'm serious. I tweeted, which I can find the tweet. I'll put it here. I hope I can find it. I said I was diagnosed with ASMR. I was trolling. I This was like the beginning of my trolling era. The fact that people think that that was serious. Ma'am, ma'am, sit down. It's okay. It's going to be okay. I promise. And I don't mean that d directed towards the interviewer. I just mean that uh, just like I was trolling. <laughs> um yeah and then it's moments like this where i'm like damn i have to live with this where people actually think that i'm a liar and i said i was diagnosed with asmr it, it's all a mess but anyways thank you guys so much for the questions that's gonna be it for today and i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in my next one bye oh before i end the vlog <laughs> let's back that up no tornadoes came through. Um, I'm not sure about anywhere else, but the weather, um, it has been nothing but just like super windy and rainy. So I just wanted to have everyone know that I am safe and sound. Um, and I hope everyone else out there is safe. I know the weather lately has been absolutely crazy. Um, anyways, I'm going to go now. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.